What's going on everybody? This is Lasora, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to recreate that Super 8 vintage look using Final Cut Pro 10.4. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Right in front of me is a sample 1080p 24 frames per second footage with an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 in which in the Super 8 world should be reduced to 4 by 3. So what we could do here is to simply download packs of aspect ratio overlays in which I'll link them down below. Don't worry, it's very easy and more importantly, it's free to download. So once you're done downloading the overlays, choose the one that suits your footage best and then drag and drop it on top of your clip. Bring out the effect browser, go down to the search bar and then type in Gaussian Blur. Drag that and then drop it to your footage. Bring the amount down to 5. Go back down to the Effect Browser search bar and then type in Film Grain. Select that and then drop it to your footage. Head back to the inspector and then set the Film Grain style to Realistic Grain. Once you're done with that, let's go ahead and do some color correction. Bring out the color inspector by clicking this icon right here, and then select the color tab. My shadows and mid-tones here will be set to have a magenta tint to it, and as a contrast, the highlights will have a slight green touch to it. For saturation, let's bring up the overall master and shadow slides. Bring down the mid-tones and boost the highlights just a little bit. Moving on to the exposure, we're going to bring down the shadows and boost the mid-tones as well as the highlights up. Super 8 cameras are known to have scratches, noise and dust to its footage, so therefore let's mimic that look by simply downloading a Super 8 emulator clip and use it as an overlay. I'll also link them in the description box down below. Once again, it's simple and free to download. Once you've got that, just place it right here, select it, and then head over to the inspector. Last but not least, let's set the blend mode to overlay. Now that's all done, let's see what the final result looks like. So that's it for today's video everybody, thank you so much for watching, I hope you find this video somewhat useful and if you did please leave it a like and also subscribe for more short films and Final Cut Pro tutorials like this one. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comment section down below, I'll be sure to help you out. Wish you guys all the best with your projects and I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.